hi everyone welcome to my channel in this video i'll be taking you through one pharmacy management system i created in ms access so you can see the login form so let's log in then we use add password enter all right so when you open the database this is what you you have we have the side menu and then we have the dashboard looking very beautiful here very nice so we can talk of some features you can see that we have what is happening in the system this total medicine total stock total customers total suppliers number of pitches total pitches number of sales to uh, sales per month and uh, daily and also see we have this four tabs four tabs here showing what has been sold today and then uh, the month we have recent bias here we have uh, product expiry we have details we can see we have a graph showing the monthly sale progress all right so on the side menu we have dashboard when you click on it and see this dashboard is there we have user profile you can check your profile you can edit so you can save here then we have custom company information where we have the pharmacy details you can you fill up here then we have manage users you can manage users here uh, add new user and then we have items uh, generic shelf pack type dosage brand name categories okay we, have, we can see all of them here we have setup which contains customer supplier and manufacturer you can each of this section you can add you can create you can and you can delete and edit yeah now under medicine we have product list you can see we have moment we have three products in, in the list you can add new product here go to list then we have pitches you have pitches quotation you have pitches order you have pitches invoice you have pitches returns then the same thing applies to the sales and the sales too we have sale quotation sale orders sales invoice and then sales return when you go to reports we have a lot of reports here we have generic report product and the product we have product and then by brand batch reports we have all batch and then we have uh, show batch batch by name so then we have product price report expiry near to expire total stock 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 shortage a lot of the reports are here so yeah. now most importantly we're going to look at the pitches let's see how we can make pitches quotation so we go here we select supplier then we pick the product then we have this 27 so this quantity is not adding to the stock available it's just a pro forma invoice something like that that we want to give it to the supplier to find these drugs for us if it's available you click on this okay one is good and then we have the total uh sub total then then the discount and then we have the net total so we save okay none all right so we have added it here all right now let's go to order now under the order you can choose to use any of this quotation that you made so i'm going to use the current quotation which is two yeah so you can see this is the order we made under the quotation so let me add one to it i'm going to add amazaslin i will need 20 of this in addition okay so 
to say done all right so let's look at invoice now you can print each of them you can you can print let's go to print preview this is the report very nice one you can see and so we have this invoice. okay now let's go to pitches so you create one pitches invoice so uh, let me select this now here you can choose to use the quotation you made or you use the order you made so i'm going to take this order for this supplier all right so you see that you made two orders and they are here okay so i'm not going to add anything i'm just going to save this as order yeah, so done okay so let's go and check our stock we have so to do that you go to medicine and go to product list and you see that we have quantity available here we have this we have 250 for, for acetamol we have um 158 remaining for a book print a book protein then we have uh almost we have 132 Okay, so let's go and do pitches returns and see what we, we have. So we are going to do pitches uh, returns on amosacillin, which is 132, and ibuprofen, which is 158. Okay, so let's go to returns, create returns. So to create returns, we will have to select the pitches invoice that we want to make returns on. So I'm going to select the current one. Okay, so I remember we took uh ibuprofen yeah so we ordered for 27 quantity of ibuprofen in the last purchase we made and we want to return seven and then we add okay so i've returned seven of the ibuprofen let's go to amosacillin i want to reorder 20 so let's add let's do 29 of it let me add okay so these are the quantities we are returning Okay, let's save. All right, then. Now let's go and check our product list and see. Okay, so you can see that the ibuprofen quantity has reduced to 157, which 151, which was 158. And this one has reduced to 123, which was, uh, I think, something like that. Which was 132. Yeah, so you can see it here now that it is taking effect. All right, now let's go and look at the pitches we made, the current pitches we made, and see if there has been changes on that. So we go to invoice, then invoice five. Let's go to details. Yeah, so you can see that instead of the 27 and 29, now we have 2020, which has changed the price here. Very nice. All right, so that is it for the pitches let's go to sales so the same thing here we can add quotation so let me add one quotation for sales and i'm going to add uh, a book profane. i'm adding four and then add i'm going to add i was asking i'm adding 20. Add. okay so you see close now here we can see the details of it, 4 and 20. We have the price here, we can print and we can save as PDF. Okay, so we're not going to do that. So let's close this one and go back to list. Now let's do some order. Okay, so create here, order. We can choose to have a name here. Then we can also choose to use quotation or not. All right, so I'm going to delete this name. And I'm going to use the quotation I made here, which was this was the quotation. So definitely to take the customer name I use for the quotation. So you can see it is here. Now let's you can see we have the product we selected under that quotation also being filled up here. So let's add. I'm not going to do anything. If I want to edit any of this one, then I would delete and then I re-add it. You can do it manually here. All right. So let's. Uh, save okay so here too we can go to details and find out so you can see we have this one here we can 
friends we go back to the list now let's go to invoice so under invoice we're going to create one invoice and then we select uh, okay so the same option i can choose to use uh quotation i made or i can choose to use uh order i made so that is order three i can choose to use that so let's go and check the order okay so i have orders here but i think that is the id currently in, in use so now let's go back to sales i'm going to create a new sales so i will select a customer then i will no i will not choose anything let me just add a beautiful thing i'm buying uh, seller is uh, seller is buying 56 then uh paracetamol customer is buying 45. so note that as soon as you type the quantity the price automatically change so you can see very effective when we don't need so we add okay so this is going to be our price so we save all right so let's check our quantity and see if it has been reduced okay so we go to product list yeah so you can see that all the quantity has reduced drastically after we made the, the sales okay so okay so let's go back to the sales um under okay so we we check on the sales so let's look at sales then we go to sales invoice so what is the last sales we made which is uh invoice three let's check the details so we had 56 and 59 as invoice quantity we purchased so let's go back let's go to returns and let's go to create returns instead of selecting the id i'm going to use the current invoice so which is three so we have the customer name being populated let's select a beautiful thing so quantity was 56 i'm going to uh, the, the customer is returning six all right and then the amazacin the no there there isn't any amazacin let's pass it time yeah pass it time the customer is selecting uh is returning let's say 10. all right so let's save so these are the quantities so let's save it and close so let's go back to invoice invoice number three details okay so you can see that the quantity has reduced instead of 60, 57 we have and then instead of 49 we have 40 difference of tens so let's go back now let's check the report so under report we have this as the generic we can go to have a lot of reports here okay let me go straight back to zero stock now there's no item now let's look at uh, we have report sales report this we have period we can look at daily we filter yeah so this is sale report for daily you can see today date today's date is zero the quantity items count and so forth and we can do that for weekly all right so this is weekly that is uh, from yesterday backwards then we can also choose to use for months let's select months so months uh, so this month currently this month we, we have only one record so the past month is not available here okay so so we're looking at that of uh, sales report you can you can you can make daily so daily is here you can search for this range so this range let's say from 17 to to date all right so you filter you get all the reports yeah so we can also print all everything that you need okay so that is it now let's close this one let's go and check off sales rate the same thing here we can choose to let's find dates we can choose to add dates uh, then we filter yeah so there's nothing for these dates a lot of things you can search for customer so let's say i think we have this filter there's no return from that customer on, on, on that so let's close this 
and then we have which is returns the same thing here so i'm not going to waste time i just wanted you to see this and go through it please leave a comment about this one in the comment section i will also leave a link to download this in the description so you check that and then and then you download it's not going to be free so i'll see you in the next video thank you very much see you bye bye